couple suggestions for you to get the most out of this course. First off, practice in short bursts. So don't try to consume this whole course in one day. Don't sit down and do it for multiple hours. I suggest, you know, practicing in hour bursts. And what you can use is this site I use. It's, it's um, eggtimer.com. And basically you can set timers and, uh, you know, it'll alert you when the timer's up. That way, you, you know, you have a time against you. So you try to learn as much in a small amount of window as possible. And then, you know, take a break for the day. Don't get burnt out. Um, stay excited about it, and I also suggest making a schedule that you'll stick to. So if you can lay aside one hour a day for a week, you'll have your first site out in a week. Number two, go through the course one time with me and write in the code. That way you can see all the nuances of, of you know, typing in the text editor because, you know, if you forget like a certain caret or a comma or something, it can really change the code and mess it up, and you'll start to become familiar with the strictness of writing in the code. But also don't worry because it's not going to be that hard. I just want you to get muscle memory and feel for what it is and actually writing in your own code and seeing that you can rep reproduce the same results that I have. And then once you do that and you've completed the course, then you go in and make your own site. So you have this project that you love, this site idea. Maybe you want to create a site for yourself or a business idea you, you have. You want to test it. So you go at it, you try to create it, and then use the videos and course materials to refer back to as references. And that's when you, the actual learning takes place. In the process of creating your own stuff, you start to create that muscle memory. You know, you start to get in there and get your hands dirty, and you really learn um, by remembering and experiencing your own battles. Number four, quantity over quality. So there's this story from the book, The First 20 Hours. And they were in this pottery class, and they split the pottery class into two groups. Group one was graded on how many pieces of pottery they could create over the course of the semester. Group two was graded on only one piece of pottery. Their grade, they had to pick their best piece of pottery, and that's what their grade was given. So they brought these two groups back together at the end of the semester, and you saw everybody's pottery on display. Well, the interesting realization was that all the people in the quantity group, their, their final pieces of pottery were so much better than the people that were graded on quality. And the lesson in this is that the learning comes in the process. So don't focus on, you know, worrying about messing up or anything. Just go at it, make mistakes. You know, you can easily go back and fix them. That's one thing I want, really want you to think about in this course. Don't worry about messing up, make mistakes. And then just to hit this home again, repetition, repetition, repetition. Keep practicing, keep building sites. The more you do, the higher the quantity, you know, the more this will become second nature and you'll be busting out top quality sites in no time. It's really not hard. It just takes, you know, repetition and practice. So good luck with the course, guys. Let's get started in making our first website.